Hey, hello, and thank you for being here today. I'm going to be making some buttons. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there making clay buttons. Um, I'm going to do my version, a little bit of a boho gypsy kind of hippie maybe kind of version. And then, um, so I'm going to use clay, and then I'm also going to use my favorite, favorite, you know how I love corks. So <clears throat> I'm going to use some corks. Look, if you cut them, they may not be perfect, but they are going to make the coolest button. So I hope you'll stay tuned and uh, stay with me while I go through this. And I've never made buttons before, so this is my first attempt. So I will be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to need today and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some paints because I want to decorate. And I'm going to make a mountain white. And I'll do some in black too. Uh, I do have some black clay. Now, this would be a great idea also, and I'm sure there's videos on that too, um, the paper clay, you know, the self-drying so you wouldn't have to bake them, and I think that would be great too. So I have paints out. I have some clear gloss finish, uh, deco art. Every All my paints are deco art except for the one I use from, uh, which I love, from Folk Art, and this is the Color Shift. Uh, and then I have, I can't find my all-all. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm using, I have no idea what that is, but I've always used it in some other tool to poke holes. A paintbrush. Of course, you'll need your clay, and I would definitely work that clay out good. And then I'm going to use some of my, um, uh, what are these again? I can't, I can't remember what they're called. What are these pearl somebodies? Oh, my goodness. What are they? I cannot believe it. Pearl X. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how many times. You know, they last forever. I can't tell you how long I've had these. And then also, you can use some, um, any Inca Gold, Metallics, or, uh, which I'm going to not use those. I'm going to use my uh, Deco Art because, unfortunately, those keep drying up on me, so I'm not purchasing them anymore. So I'm going to use the deco art, and I'll get those out. I don't know where that is right now. A few of those, which I love. And um, I think that's it. So maybe some beads, because if we want to make it really funky, so get some beads out. Um, anything that you have hanging around. Well, I have some beads in this little thing here. And that's, <clears throat> that's about it, I think. As we go along, if I find that I want to add the, oh, and some cutters, sorry, some cutters to cut shapes. So, um, we can do that. Let's see. Let's cut some, oh, let's cut some cool shapes and see. I don't know how big I want my buttons yet. So, oh, there's a little round, make a little round button. Let's see. A little... Squares of the parts. Let's see. Oh, where are you? Like a heart button. That would be cool, huh? That'd be a nice big heart button. And I'm making these for a project, actually, that I will show you when I get that. I'm, I'm starting it and I don't have it, uh, you know, through enough to actually show you yet, but. I sure will. There's a little. It'd be nice if I could find all my little punch out things, but I can't. So that'll be a nice, nice button. Huh? And this would be a nice button. Some little buttons. Some large buttons. Okay, so I can, I'm going to uh, just put the holes in these, I think, and then <clears throat> colorize them um, after I bake them. Uh, I'm not a fan of baking paint in the oven, so I'm going to do that. I like this. It's cool, huh? Matter of fact, I just got a set of earrings from the antique store that are like this. i got to show you them. And um, they have all different colors of beautiful uh, jewels in them. 
and do a, oh, let's see how this one, this is a leaf button or something. That would be cool. Wow. I guess you can make buttons in if you have um, pretty buttons already and you just want to make an imprint of them, use them. But now I'm going to do the rest of this. I'm going to um, kind of stamp on it because I want to have some with... Um, Some impression, you know, some marks on them. Let's see. You can use your, if you have any, um, my head's not with it today. Um, <laughs> oh, embossing plates. You can use those too. And I think, I don't think this is coming out, so. it's good enough because you, you don't want something in there so that when you put your paint or your um, Pearl X on or whatever you're going to use it catches in the grooves so I really want that to be thicker, thicker, thicker let's see <clears throat> oh you know what I'm going to get my embossing plates I'll be right back Okay, so let me show you what I just did. <clears throat> I made a round piece, right? And um, then I pressed there. Some embossing sheet on it. Okay, a little, and then I took this really beautiful, which is going to have to be cleaned when I'm done with this. Um, I don't know what it is, bead, whatever, what you, I just bought them because they're beautiful and I'm going to put them on things, but I thought, well, I wonder if it'll make a good impression here. And I'm kind of really not centered here, but that's okay. You know, when I do stuff boho, who cares? I just want it to be fun and different, you know? So you can use, if you have a pin or another button, that's cool. And you see that comes out like that. And then you have this little centerpiece here that kind of let's see what we can do with that I can't even find my um what's that thing called my blade cannot find it well I know I had it but I just moved a whole bunch of things around so I'm thinking oh, this was one of the things that was in something <sighs> Okay, so let's get that off there. Kind of clean it gently. And then you can take, you know, if you have buttons, um, you can take one and just stick it right in there. And you can even either, um, you know, you can even cut around this if you wanted to. And if I had my my blade, I may would do that and see how it come out. But for now, I'm just going to keep it as a round button. And I think that is cool. And the same thing with this one. This one I'm going to... I don't know. I'm going to take that out because I think that's a plastic button. So I will glue that in after I bake it because I think that's plastic. And I don't know. They're, they're um, no, I don't know. They're antique buttons. From the antique store, so I don't know. And I, it, it feels plastic, so. So I was going to do this one too. Let's see. Uh, I'm go through your stash and pick a button. I remember, I, I be cool to, um, you know, we're going to paint these, so once they come out and they're um, dry and cool down, then we can paint them and fancy them up and then glue the little centerpiece in of a real button. And I just think that makes such a beautiful flower there. So whatever you have, I mean, I just happened to buy these a couple of weeks ago um, <clears throat> for something else. And then these, what I did here was I did go over and 
uh, embossed them, and then I took the small one and put it on top of the heart, and then I took the, the, the rectangle one and stuck it on that. So what I'll do is I'll put holes, and I'm not measuring, so I can do two holes, three holes, whatever holes, you have many holes you want. guess I'm doing four so there and then when you bake it hopefully the holes will stay in now this one you know what I think I'm just gonna put two holes in it just right there or actually let's do three okay and then just bake them. Okay, so that's, and then these I'm going to bake, but I'm gonna, like I said, take these out and I will glue them in at another time. So this way, when I'm decorating and painting, I can see which ones go with which. Okay, so we did those. Now those come out and bake those. And now I'm thinking these I don't have to bake, right? Because they are cork. So we can just play around and paint them. Remember, if, I don't know if you all saw my uh, hanging cork thing. I forget what I named it. I don't know. It was for the Gypsy and the Witch. <laughs> I don't remember. I'll, I'll link it at the bottom and at the end of this video if you want to see what else I've done with cork. And actually, I did... Um, the fairies, the little fairies, hanging fairies with cork, and I thought there was something else. I'll have to look, but I'll, I'll if there is, whatever I find, I will put <clears throat> at the end of the video here, or at the bottom in the description, there'll be links. So, just gonna, and what I plan on doing is, um, with all of these, is kind of, I think I'm gonna, well, I don't know how glossy. I'm not going to gloss gloss them, but I think I'm just going to put a coat, you know, to seal it and uh, see how these come out. So I'm going to get some paint. I'm going to make them, oh, that was a woodland something. That's what that hanging thing, and that's what I want to make these look like. Um, <clears throat> now you can paint the whole cork top, you know, with one color and then go over it, you know, oh, let's see what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I get so excited, you know. Get excited. Okay, so, like, say you didn't, if you didn't want that cork to show, you know what, I do want that cork to show in that. So, I could just paint. The whole top. Right, let it dry. And then my little design on it. I'm just using that, um, what is that? Titan buff and then just uh, as a base. And there you go. And then you can paint your design. And on these, because they really don't have any cool texture like this kind of cork, I'm going to do that because they're kind of boring. I don't get where I got those. Or me, I didn't get them. Uh, somebody else gave them to me, so. Um, maybe a few I've collected. I don't drink that much wine. I mean, I do save the core. Oh, my son-in-law came. And he brought, oh, I can't think of the name of the whiskey. It was some kind of whiskey. But uh, for Christmas, and what a beautiful bottle. So uh, definitely a cool cork on that one, too. So I washed it out. I'm going to do something with that bottle because it's like really cool. I don't, you know, you don't even need to do anything with it. It's just cool. Um, just get the label off, clean it up, and maybe put a tie of something on the top because the cork is gorgeous. Maybe paint the cork. And um, there you go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry. This one, these, I, I like that cork look in the background. So, um... I think 
I actually have water down here. You know that? Oh, gosh, Rita. Kind of on the ball. Man, we've been moving things around, and I'll tell you, I'm not cold today. Not yet. It's beautiful out. I'm really excited. It's warm out, and I need a napkin or something. Let me move over here. Uh, and um, it's warm out, but we also have a stove down here now because I was freezing my booty off. And um, it, it really helps because my husband has his big screen TV from years ago. Not big screen TV. What's the thing you roll down the screen uh, and the projector thing from years and years ago from when we had a theater kind of room for the kids. And uh, he still has that. So he's got that up for the kids. And he wanted the kids when they come to be able to hang out in the basement because it is cool. Okay, so, you know, you could do the same thing. Um, you could cut. I'm pretty sure, like, if I if I cut, if I had a mallet or something, I could cut a hole in that. But you know what? I'm not going to mess around with that. But you could do where you could put a button, a regular button on top if you want. But we don't want to do that, right? We want something kind of button -up. We'll see. See how it goes, right? And I'm using, who knows why, but I'm using fabric paint, excuse me. Because I can't find all my other paints. And I don't have room for them all. <laughs> In my little corner here, so let's just play, play, play. Like I said, I'm making these because of something else that I'm making that I really want it to be. Um, did I just use this? Which this is cadmium yellow. What was this one? Primary yellow. That's enough yellow. Okay. Let's get this. And that is what? Dark Rose. And one of the greens was called True Green, that one. And then the one I love is, oh, Hauser Light Green. I love these green kind of greens. And well, I think that's enough green, right? I want it with my purple. Took the purple out. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me go get it. <clears throat> my black, my purple. Now this I'm just using the regular. Oh, that's a top came up for this one. Huh. Gosh. This poor paint, thank goodness. Well, I'm just going to use the cap. <laughs> and that's just the uh, Americana. It's called Royal Purple. And then we're going to use some. Oh, I have this black. Some black. Did it get stuck at some point? Well, let me squeeze it really hard. And, what is going on here? Okay, well, let's use the cap on that one then, too, okay? All right. Let's see what we come up with. You know, if you're really good at drawing, you know, small, you could draw little fairies on your buttons. And all kinds of little things. So, yeah, I'm just going to do flowers because it's easy. Um, So we repositioned the um, camera. So I hope the angle is better. We'll cut it. We're down now. He put put you know the boom back on that was attached in the um, house in Daytona. It actually came out of the. He had it attached to the wall, but now we have it attached to a, a really nice tripod that I had gotten from my neighbor in. Um, Daytona because she used to uh, use it. Oh, what the heck was it? She bought it for some reason and then never used it. 
So it is, it's really nice. Uh, big heavy duty one. So that's what it's on. And that's where the camera was on the tripod before, but it was kind of coming this way. Now it's overhead. So much better. Um, so let's... I should be using a smaller um, brush. Just really, really nothing. Just dots and dashes and whatever. Heck. Um, let's put a little yellow. Make them nice and bright. At least you don't have to bake or anything. You can just, you know, coat them and once they dry and be done. So that is that one. Let's do, you could actually stamp these two, what the heck, but I think, Oops. I have a different color here to kind of, um, I need like an orange. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see. I have this red pepper. So mix it. Mix it, mix it. If I can't find an orange. <laughs> But I got to tell you, it was cold here. And we didn't have, when our heater broke, and it was really funny because we had gone out and bought the stove for the basement. And then that night, the heater broke. <laughs> so he got a part for it because he thought it was something that had happened once before in, in our other house. And, um, got the part and um, but that's not what it was so in the meantime you know he put together the stove down here and um, we had a wait they couldn't couldn't blast the heat on it because it had to cure so and the fireplace you know fireplaces are great to look at and to sit in front of, but 
when you want to heat a house, unless you have one of those um, inserts, and we do not, you know, for the fire, we had it as gas. It was gas when we came here. It was a, you know, fireplace, a regular wood fireplace, but they had used it with um, propane. But I do not like the smell of the propane. And um, so we took it out. It was a big monstrous thing that was in there because it was old. I mean, this house was built in the uh, 80s. So, I mean, I don't know when they put that heater in, but, man, you know, it was kind of old and really huge looking. So <laughs> we took that out. Thank goodness it didn't happen when the kids were here for Christmas. That would have been a bummer. But then the guy came out. We finally called somebody, and they came out. And um, I don't know. They tested. The guy seemed to know what he was doing. My husband was impressed with him. So I know nothing. So I get impressed easily. <laughs> so that's what they did. They fixed it. And so now I'm going to do the sides on this. Sorry I'm rambling, but. Um, we have heat now, and I'll tell you, those days when it was very cold, um, goodness gracious, I had so many layers on, oh, isn't that pretty? I like that, I like that, huh? I'm going to let that dry, because I know I'm going to get my fingers on it. I'm going to let that dry and then finish it. Um, and then... <coughs> on this but I like that and I can do a little um in the center isn't that cool I think that's cool and then um let's see what else we can do what's coming up oh you know what's coming up um Valentine's Day I didn't even get a one on here. And remember, just do them have fun. Um, they're boho, they're gypsy, they're whatever the heck you want. Let's not try to be perfect. And a little hard on that one. Cute. Okay, so you kind of get the idea, right? And then these, um, well, let's do something with these. These, I'll put little, little flowers. See these, I poked holes in because I was messing around with it, trying to see um, how it would look. And I thought, oh, you know what? I really like that. Um, You could put little American flags or whatever flags on there. Country you're from on there. Cute. I think that's really cute. And you can go in and, you know, elaborate more and more and more. And use markers, too. I mean, you can use markers on the any of them. You know, so um, let's 
just put some dots. Put markers, put jewels. And if you've got, you know, um, cork hanging around, why not? Things are coming in my head though as I'm doing this um, of other things I can think of that I want to do with these. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I can coat them and uh, seal that all in. And this one I got to finish painting around the side. You can do that on all of them, paint the sides. Um, Get marker <clears throat> and do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I've got. Uh, I'm thinking of something, and um, I'm going to see if I can do it in this. I'll see if I can. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I made some with the black and what I'm going to do, I put some holes in there because the same thing, I'm going to put, um, well that's not a very good button, but um, whatever, you know, you get the idea. Put a button in there, okay? I'll glue a button inside there, ah, I can't get that out, um, after it's cooked and I'll probably put some pretty stuff on those plain buttons too and who knows. You know, rub some um, of the metallic rubs on them. But this, I'm going to, let me get this out of here. Remember my bowl that I made? I don't know if you guys, if you've seen that video, this is one of the bowls, oops, that I made. Um, it's made out of paper. So cool. And I love them. And I use them to store different things, and which makes, you know, looking at your stuff fun. Instead of just in plain little boxes and stuff. So... Okay, so let's get going. I'm going to take some of the, um, you know, these Pearl X. You don't really need a lot on your finger. That's that They last forever. But they're nice to play with. And I usually put these on before I bake. I don't know why. But that's what I usually do. And you can do it after, too. It doesn't matter. A little bit of that one on there, and I don't know these colors are like. Let's see. I can tell you, um, duo red blue. Oh, I never looked at the colors before, so I don't know. I just, you know, put them on, like them, put them on, and away we go. Little gold on there. What the heck? And you can mix them and do so many things with these two, so just have fun if you have them. Mm. I love these ones that kind of look like whitish, and then when you put them on, they're these beautiful colors. You can always go over them again, too. And what I usually do is I do the sides and everything. And I used to do this with my tiles, so um, it's the same same thing. Let's see what color this is. This is really cool. This is, come on, magnifying glass. Let's go. This is inter, interference violet, that one. And then let's do... This. this is kind of like a greenish thing. Spring green. No, I don't want spring green. Come on, come on, come on. What's this? Ooh, okay. This one is lavender. Misty lavender. 
Misty Lavender. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I made these pretty thick because I don't want the the clay to start, you know, curling. And I lay them on tile to cook them so this way they stay nice and straight. What else? What do we got here? Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is Interference Gold. Is that how you say that? Interference, yeah. It's like the paint. That's it. Works really well on black surfaces. The paint that's, that's, oh, look at this. Oh, cool. I forget. I haven't used these in so long. Put a little bit of that. Okay, so these are ready for the oven. I gotta poke some holes though. Okay. These I don't have to because I'm gonna put buttons in there. But then this, I'm gonna do the three like I did the other one. So it's gonna have three little holes in it. I mean, you can put as many as you want, but. <sighs> I just want them to be funky. Okay, love them. Absolutely love them. I'm going to bake them and I will be back. The other ones are baking, so when they're done, we'll mess around with those too. Okay, so here's what they look like the few that I've finished so far. Um, came out really cute, cool, and I'm going to be using them in another project. Um, but I'm loving, you know, this idea. Um, I think it's just cool. I love the flower. That is just so cool. And what I did was I used metallics. I used... Um, very, I use this uh, clear soft touch varnish. If you want something with a higher gloss, I'm out of my diamond glaze. Use diamond glaze or, oh, I can't, the dimensional magic you can use. That would be, and I'm out of that too. Um, so I just use that. So I don't have a very high gloss and that's okay because I didn't really want them that glossy. And um, I just and I used um, the metallics on here, the rubs, uh, the paints, um, I think everything. Here you saw me do the um, Pearl X on these, and then I, I went back in with a little bit of the metallics and rubbed over them. Um, and then I hot glued the buttons on these with the buttons. Um, now this one, this one's still drying, and I don't know how that one's going to come out. Uh, what I did was I put the the cutout thing, the little, what is this called? I can't even think of it. Cookie cutter or whatever. Clay cutter. On top of it, I sh it probably would maybe better to cook it with it on it. Because it does get a little bit bigger than this. So uh, I put that on top and then I poured some dried flowers that I had. You know, I dry flowers and I had these from... Uh, when my daughters had given me, that's just a little bit of it, some flowers uh, for Christmas, so uh, roses, and I dried some, and there were some other ones mixed in there, and then I put them in, and then I poured the um, DuraClear Soft Touch Varnish on top. Now, it would be a lot better if I would have had the Diamond Glaze, but um, I just wanted to see how that would look. And it's still wet, so I don't want to touch it. <laughs> and then these little guys here made some little ones. Here's the one. And these I went over with the um, that clear varnish, too. But there's actually cork varnish from... Uh, do I have any around? I know I have it. I just don't know where it is. Uh, there's cork varnish from Deco Art, And um, you may want to try that if you're looking to do a, a varnish on the cork pieces. So 
Uh, and they came out so cute. So they've only got like a real light touch of, I may uh, get that cork if I find it. I know it's somewhere here. I saw it recently and go over them a little bit more. This one I stamped with a stamp and um, use stays on. And so we'll see. Um, the next video I will kind of give you an idea and that one is for the Gypsy and the Witch. So I am going to use some of these in that uh, so you'll get to see that um, on the 15th if I could get the video done. Um, my husband took me away today to go for a walk to enjoy the weather. It was 62. Can you believe it? But now I'm behind because by the time we came back and then I cooked dinner and we ate and um, I need a cup of coffee. So that is that. I hate to get distracted, but yet I do love to get distracted because I needed a nice walk. And we went to the, actually we went to the park too. I put a video up on, not a video, but a picture up on Facebook. Hanging Rock State Park. Oh, it's beautiful. You can look out at um, where they have their information center and you can see the Blue Ridge Mountains. So it's very pretty up there. And very different. You really have to want. I haven't been up in a mountain in a long time. So it was really cool. And uh, so we did that. So by the time we came back, I was already tired. And then we cooked and we ate. And you know how when you eat, you get tired. So I'm feeling tired right now. So I'm going to get some coffee. But I wanted to show you these and get this video done. Because it takes so long to upload in this place. But I just love them. I, I mean, I just, I totally love them. And I just did actually did layers of different colors to get the, the looks. Let's see if you can see how pretty. And that button just went really nice with that. Let's show this one a little bit better. Isn't that cute? And that's another one that has layers. It has layers of metallic paint, layers of those metallic rubs. Um, this one, too. That is so soft and pretty, huh? Oops. And you can paint the backs if you wanted to, but I'm not going to paint the backs on these because um, I have something I'm going to use them for. But, you know, you can always paint the backs. Now, the black ones, I don't Yeah, you can paint the blacks on the, on the backs on those too. What is this? Be nice, like a gold or something. But And that's if you're going to use it where you're going to see the back. If you're not going to see the back, then why bother? Um, doing it and this one too this one has this one has um, the metallic pearl over it too so I put metallic paints gold and I put pearl X on it and um, oh just lots of stuff to get that and then a little bit of green pearl X and then that green button just really popped this one I love now I want to tell you these are the colors see that like purpley color like I was born in February, so amethyst is my color. And I like this yellowy gold. So I was thinking of those colors for my gypsy cottage outside. And it's really funny because Susan had come to visit me and she wore a shirt this color. And I fell in love with it. And we were like, oh, that'd be great for the cottage, for the outside. And then she said, well, what about yellow? For the trim and I thought oh it's really cool so this I really like this yellow so I'm gonna have to save this and uh, make sure when I go get the paint made <laughs> I have these colors because I really love them I think it's gonna be cool I know you probably think I'm crazy but I am so what else oh okay so look at this one Isn't that really cool the red paint and the um, the gold and the copper metallic I put on there. So it's really pretty. And you can add beads to these and just really, you know, dress them up even more. Or whatever you put them on will even dress them up. And there's this one with all the colors. I like this one. It's kind of reminds me of hippie, right? Really cool. I like to have a little thing that says peace right across it with the peace sign. Um, I think that's it guys. I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope I inspired you. If you haven't made buttons before, if you had, and maybe these are a little bit different, that's great. Um, I appreciate the feedback. 
And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm going to hope to keep getting more videos out as quickly as I can. I'm trying. I just have so many things that I'm in the middle of that I want to show you. But I have to finish them before I can show you. <laughs> and um, so that is that. And the next video, today is Monday. And today is, oh, you know what? I don't even know what the date is today. But on the 15th will be the Gypsy and the Witch. So it kind of be almost the second part, kind of. And today's the 9th, so the 15th. So six more days. Well, maybe I'll have another video out before that. I don't know. I'll have to see. So we'll see. But this really goes with the next, with the video that I'm going to do for the Gypsy and the Witch. So I may do something else in the meantime. So let's see. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. And um, don't forget, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. If you like this idea, I'm sure you guys can think of a million more ways to do this if you haven't already. So I love you. Bye-bye. Okay. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I did. Um, they're not. It's not too elaborate. You know, just I added some beads on this one. And um, I added a little bit of ribbon that I had hanging around, just, well, not really ribbon, whatever, a piece of material fabric. And then a little um, moon to dangle there. Um, what else? This one. Added some blingy beads. This one, I just put on a little charm there pretty and then this one is drying and this one I just I didn't use hot glue I used um, it'll dry clear bead glue bead glue sorry and I put some little beads in that and this um, I really like it I thought I'd like it more if it was glossier but I don't know I'll have to do one you know once I get some diamond glaze or something and see how the difference is but that is what I've been doing, just kind of seeing how I like to embellish them more. And um, we've got more cooking, so... Oh, and you know what? This is another varnish that's nice. It's Starlight. If you like... Um, it's glitter, so if you like things glittery, this this really... It gives it just a little glitter. It's not too heavy, unless you do a lot of coats. But that's a fun varnish, too, to try. And that's from Americana. So I am just going to rip this because this got stuck. <laughs> it was stuck on there and I had to pull it off. So um, I think that's it. I think I'm really, this is it. And I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I am going to put a link uh, at the end of this video. I'll put a couple of links to the videos that I was talking about that I did. Uh, there was the paper bowl and then also some of the cork videos. I'll put them there if you want to, if you haven't seen them and you'd like to. They were really cool. And then um, I'll have all the links where you can find me in the description below. So um, that's it. Really mean it this time. I'm leaving. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, look, here are the links. Check them out.